Joins. In this lesson, we are going to study about joins in a database. In order to combine rows from multiple tables or views, we use joins in our statement. In this session, we'll be briefly discussing joins and their types. In Oracle, join queries are written in the WHERE clause of the SELECT statement. In this statement, we can specify the join condition by comparing two columns from two tables. Oracle joins the tables according to the join condition. If we want to join three or more tables, Oracle evaluates columns of the first two tables and then it joins the result to the other table. Have a look at this image, which shows the operation of a join. Let's see the different types of joins. Joins are classified into different types according to the way the join operation is performed on tables. They are Cross-join, equa-join, non-equa-join, self-join, natural join, join with using clause, join with on clause, outer join. Let's see each type in detail. First, we will see the cross-join or Cartesian product. A cross-join will return a result that each row from the first table is combined with each row from the second table. The number of rows in the result table is the product of the number of rows in each table. If the table contains large numbers of rows, this join can take a very long time. If A and B are two table rows, the cross join produces the result table named A cross B. It does not include any joining conditions. Here is how to perform a cross join. Let's see the two tables before performing the join operation. Type this at the SQL prompt. Select asterisk from student and press enter. It selects all the rows from the student table. This table contains the columns named role, number, name, address, and city. For the join operation, we need two tables, so we need one more table. Type this statement in at the SQL prompt. Select asterisk from department and press enter. It shows the data from the department table. It has columns named department ID and department name. We can use these two tables in our join operation. So type the join statement like this. Select asterisk from student cross join department and press enter. This statement combines the two tables student and department in the result. It combines all the values in each column in one table with another. That is, in the student table, there are four rows, and in the department table, there are two rows. So the output table displays the total of eight rows. Equijoin and non-equijoin. In this section, we will discuss the remaining types of joins. Let's start with the equijoin. An equijoin is the type of join which joins the tables based on the columns in two tables with the same values. In equijoin, the join condition must have an equality operator. Let's discuss the equijoin operation. Have a look at these tables. In the student table, the student ID column is unique, and in the department table, the department ID column is unique. If we want to see the department names of the students, we can use the department ID column in both these tables in the join condition. To do this, we can use the equality operator to join these tables. Let's see how to perform an equijoin. Type this statement in the SQL prompt. Select S student ID, comma, S name, comma, S department ID, comma, D department name from student S department D where S department ID equals D department ID and press enter. Doing this shows the student ID, student name, department ID, and department name. There, now we have performed an equijoin by using the department ID column in both these tables. In this SELECT statement, we have used the table alias name S and D to select rows from the tables Student and Department. 
In the WHERE clause of the SELECT statement, we have written a condition to check the department ID in both these tables. Now, we will see in detail the non-equijoin. Here is the definition of a non-equijoin. The non-equijoin is a type of join in which we can join two tables with the join condition where the join condition uses other than an equal operator. Let's talk about how to perform the non equa join. In the EMP table, there is a column named SAL. It contains the salary of the employees. In the SAL grade table, the grade for different salaries is stored. Now we are going to find the grade of the employees. For this, the query has to be written as this. This statement shows the result as employee's name and their salary grade. Here we have joined two tables without an equality operator, so this is a non equa join. In this statement, we have selected the employee name and salary from the EMP table and the salary grade from the sal grade table. We have used the table alias names to select the columns from both these tables. In the WHERE clause of this statement, we have used the BETWEEN operator to select the details between low salary and high salary. Since there is no equal operator used in this join operation, this type of join is a non equa join. SELF-JOIN AND NATURAL JOIN In previous lessons, we have discussed the joins with two tables. In this section, we are going to discuss the method of joining a table to itself. It is known as a self-join. Here is the definition of self-join. In order to join a table to itself, we use self-join. This type of join is used to compare values between two columns in the same table. Here's how to do self-join. In this lesson, we are going to join the EMP table to itself. Type the statement like this. Here, we have written a self-join statement to find the employee name and their manager's name. As we have seen in the EMP table, there is a column named MGR, which holds the employee number of that person's manager. So with the use of this self-join, we can find the employee's name and their manager name. In this statement, we use the table alias name W and E for the table EMP to join the column ENAME. Here we have used a concatenation operator to concatenate the names with each other. I hope my learners are very clear about the self-join and its uses. Next, we will discuss the natural join. This join is a special feature. By using this join, there is no need to specify the join condition explicitly. This type of join offers a further specialization of equa joins. Natural join automatically joins two tables based on columns in the two tables which have the same data types and names. We have to specify the keyword natural join in the join statement. So here's how to do a natural join. Type the statement like this. Select asterisk from student natural join department and press enter. This statement displays the joined table. In these tables, the department ID column is the same, so the natural join performs the join operation according to that column. This is also true with the equijoin. Now I hope you understand these various types of joins. Let's see the order of join carried out among tables in the join operation. Join with using and on clause. In this lesson, we are going to discuss some more types of joins. Now we will see how to join tables with using clause and on clause. Using clause is used to join the tables where the column in both tables shares the same name. Here the join operation is carried out in these two tables according to the values in these two columns. The columns listed in the using clause cannot have any qualifiers in the statement and should not include the WHERE clause. 
This means we can't select the values of these two columns in output, and we can't use these columns in the WHERE clause. Let's see this statement. Select S student ID, S name, S department ID, D department name from student S department D, where S department ID equals D department ID, and press Enter. We have used the equality operator to join two tables, so the result of this statement is displayed as student roll number, name, department number, and department name. Now we will write the same statement with the using clause. Type this. Select student name, department, department name, from student, inner join, department, using department ID, and press enter. In this statement, we have selected the student name and department from the tables student and department. Here we have used the using clause with inner join, so it displays the student name and corresponding department of that student. We did not select the values from the column which is unique in both these two tables. Now we will see the ON clause in JOIN operation. The ON clause is used to join tables where the column names in those tables do not match. Here is an example. Let's type the statement like this. Select D department name, E city, from departments D, join locations E, on D location ID equals E ID, and press Enter. In this statement, we have used the ON clause in the JOIN operation, and we have used different column names in the ON clause. The location column in the Departments table is stored as Location ID, and in the Locations table it is stored as ID. So the result of this statement shows the department name and location. I hope you now understand the usage of JOINS with the USING and the ON clause. In the next lesson, we will discuss the outer join.